You've got the key! Use it! Wrongs, desecrator. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes. It will. about this land, my friend. With Heminger Yard gone, can Lily hold the reins? Will he guide us through? are the wolf-kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminga left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Mm -hmm. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriak with ale and open arms. You have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. 
You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Go, Zulin. Mingayal? Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. 
It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Your Shire's fate is uncertain. Blunted by indecision. You leave warriors now. Never wait. You did, Hemingayal. You did. And that is why my words should land. Trust your judgment. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eivor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
Hörru nokkuð hvað er hann? Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? Old as I am. This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Billy, trick me. Each man wears one of Hemingas boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm -hmm. Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Ah, oh, stick! He should have roused me first. Show me where I went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts! The nobles are too drunk to join this fight. It will be a slaughter on both sides. You know best, Drengur. Just take care, will you? His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stake was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drengur. 
He always had me to watch his back. His children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Sunila. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Trenkur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Best not to draw attention here.
spawning? Stop, Billy. They're gone. It is done. Bah! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. A moment to catch my breath. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Chetri the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunt... <laughs> and the drunk one, remember. Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'll sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. 
Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Lily. And what about Trigvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arsenic. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on our past that way. I find it slows me down to crawl. And I'm not made for crawling. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. Where are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Billy... gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send-off Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Yo. We are about to send you on your final journey. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives may the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you feast my friend in the halls of the free and brave stand at my side Speak from your heart, Eminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. 
My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity. His spirit. In you I see his life. And his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Eivor, we meet again. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? You will take the great Jarl's place. I'm in good yard. Will we decide at the next man day? I have ever Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The old thing will begin shortly. You look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in meat. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldum. You stand side by side, Willy. And one of you must step forward. 
My father placed us side by side because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, our stick. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. It will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There is no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stake. I'm sure I will. Greetings. I bring fair tidings, Runry. Heminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need.
Eivor. Sigurd wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Something happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. I'm honored to see you, Eivor. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Good day. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Rolo, returned from Frankie already. This is a surprise. Is the Lady Astrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your clan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in and we'll sail soon enough. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! strange. Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember.
Save it for later. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. If you have a friend, one that's truly trusted, and wants good to grow up your friendship. Hold on, good Scott. Alric starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Hold here. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them. Without... Where did we leave off? Ah, rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are chipper, brother. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sunup to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a... We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you both. Stop. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. 
My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strength. lie! I have led numberless men into battle and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic word! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. My son, please. Sigurd, wait. I have spoken my words, and he has spoken his. And from this class came bitterness. What more need be said? I wish you well, Sigurd, in spite of all that has happened. I hope you find what you seek, and that it brings you peace. It will. Our destiny awaits. Do not linger long. I know you love him, Eivor. I know you trust him. But do not follow him blindly into darkness or despair. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions. Wondering at them. How present they are. Like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods. All of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... 
Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal. But what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Hmm. Let's go. of I here bless our passage yes I feel a great calm as we cross these waves this ordeal with the elf king Alfred how far have you pushed him does he bend will he break Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now good luck it will push Alfred into the sea strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me but we've gained so much in England and we stand to win even more the Christians are hardy foes they see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful few. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Warm us. 
No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for eyes. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Ah, it's as bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. Frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? Space above. The Saga Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvon di gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, unsum hukas reis derae chasaunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? This plate will lead us onward. Ho Erasi! Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel... 
was it drafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. This cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. to be here. Eivor, with me! Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. These shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor, for I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. What is this place? Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Welcome. 
Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vigor as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last, oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has blows! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. <laughs> 